All right, welcome back, Calcularians. Today we are going to look at a few examples of a few examples of the shortcut method for finding the derivative of a function. And there are a couple of surprises today. But before we get to the surprises, let's work with a standard polynomial that we have seen before in the shortcut. So we're gonna we've got f of x is 9x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 21x. If you notice the directions, it asks us to find f prime x and f double prime of x. So we're going to take the derivative once, and then we're going to take the derivative a second time, taking the derivative of the derivative. And I'm using that d word, but keep in mind that d word, derivative, always associated with the instantaneous rate of change. So without further ado, let's find f prime of x. So with that shortcut method, I know I take the 4, bring it down, times the 9, so I get a 36, x to the 4 minus 1 third power. I'm going to continue with the minus 5x squared, the 2 is going to come down, minus 10x, 2 minus 1 to the 1 power. And I've got a 21x, it's raised to the first power, I don't write it there, but I know it's there, that 1's going to come down, so I've got plus 21 x to the 1 minus 1, so it's x to the 0 power. So that x to the 0 power just gives me a 1. So this is actually going to, the 21x is going to become just a 21. So to find f double prime from f prime, I am going to do that process one more time. So I'm just going to use a shortcut on the f prime of x to get f double prime of x. So the 3 will come down, 36 times 3, I do not know offhand, let's see, that's going to be 36 times 3, 108, x squared minus 10. And I have found my second derivative. Thank you. Next example, something we haven't seen before, f of x equals 1 over x. Find the first and second derivatives. Ooh, this feels a little scary. I feel like I'm in the ocean, swimming with the sharks. I'm not sure what to do. Hmm. Let's think about this for a minute. Hmm. Ah, why not write 1 over x so it's written as an exponent? Genius. 1 over x is just x to the negative 1 power. Now I'm going to just follow my shortcut rule. I'm going to write this out. f prime of x will be negative 1 x to the negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 1 x to the negative 2. No one likes negative exponents, so I'm going to rewrite that as negative 1 over x squared. These two things are my first derivative in just the two different forms. Ah, to take the second derivative, I'm going to focus on the form that's in exponential notation so that I can apply my shortcut. <coughs> f double prime of x, I'm going to bring that negative 2 down, so I've got negative 2 times negative 1, x to the negative 2 minus 1. We simplify that, negative 2 times negative 1 gives me a positive 2 x to the negative third power, which I could rewrite as, that's right, 2 over x cubed. Thank you, you're all too kind. Here's our last one. g of x, 14x to the fifth minus 25x to the sixth plus 4 times the square root of x. Again, I've got that square root of x similar to the 1 over x. I could write the 1 over x as x to the negative 1. How can I rewrite square root of x so I have exponents? Dun, dun, dun. Let's see, I've got a 14 times 5, x to the 4th, minus 25 times 6, x to the 5th, plus 4. I'm going to come over here, I got a little excited. 4 times the square root of x is 4x to the 1 half. So that's going to be 4. If I take the derivative, 4 times a half, x to the 1 half minus 1. 
So this is a lot going on, so let's clean it up. G prime of X, 14 times five, that's gonna give me 70 X to the fourth. Is that right? 14 times five, yep. Minus 150 X to the fifth, plus four times a half, that's two X, one half minus one, negative one half power. And if we're gonna go a little above and beyond and not leave negative exponents, two X to the negative one half, I could write as two over X to the one half, which is two over the square root of X. Which <clears throat> we don't always have to do that, but just consider that as an option. You can just be familiar with having negative exponents, rewriting as a positive exponent, and then taking an exponent and rewriting it as a radical. So I'm actually, let's just practice this one more time. Let's take one more derivative, g double prime of x. So I've got a 70 times four, so that's gonna give me my 280 x to the third, five times the 15, let's see, five, minus 750 x to the fourth. Now let's write this one out. Two times, I'm going to bring that negative one half down, x to the negative one half minus one, and now we're getting a little crazy space here. G double prime of x, 280x cubed minus 750x to the fourth. Two times a negative one half is going to be a negative one, x to the negative three halves. Boom and a boom. Let's sit with that for a second. All right, good work today, shortcut. Keep practicing, keep seeing it.